And Tani and Terrell, her two-year-old son is expected to be okay, but sadly, he will grow up without his mother after she was killed in this latest shooting here in Auburn at Gresham. Now, take a look at this. This is a memorial here at St. Sabina Catholic Church showing the faces and names of people in this community who've died because of gun violence. Father Michael Flager says that little boy's mother will likely be added to this growing wall. I don't believe you can keep fighting for justice unless you have faith. St. Sabina's Father Flager is leaning hard on that faith this morning, hours after a 23-year-old mother of a little boy lost her life to gun violence in Auburn Gresham. What kind of human being sees a baby and just starts spraying 40, 50 rounds of bullets? You ain't a human being. Chicago police say a black car pulled up on the 1200 block of West 81st Street around 315 Wednesday afternoon and opened fire. A two year old was shot in the foot, while a 62 and 29 year old were also struck and taken to Christ Hospital in good condition. The 23 year old mother of the little boy died at the hospital. Police believe the 29 year old man injured is the father. What we don't talk enough about is just that the trauma to the family, to the friends, to the neighborhood. If you live in a war zone, how do you separate yourself to heal from it? Wednesday's shooting comes after 16-year-old Rayshawn Hood was shot on the same block just two weeks ago. Flager says it's faith that can change lives in communities plagued by gun violence. I've seen people turn their lives around. I've seen people who are shooters on the street that are now working full-time jobs and doing well. You've got to offer people alternatives and then wrap your arms around them and walk with them. Now, Terrell, Father Flager says this memorial has grown so much that they're now starting to actually run out of space. Community members here in this neighborhood are asking anyone with information regarding this latest shooting to come forward. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.